Tesla Megapack demand evident in latest Giga Nevada photos. July 9, 2022. Demand for the Tesla Megapack remains strong based on the latest photos of Giga Nevada. Recent photos from Autopilot reveal that Tesla is preparing for many Megapack shipments soon. The demand for Tesla's grid-scale battery storage units has been steadily rising since Q2 2021, ultimately leading to the company announcing a dedicated Megapack Megafactory. In Q2 2021, Tesla reported that its energy storage deployments tripled year over year, mainly driven by the recognition of several Megapack projects. Tesla has deployed Megapacks across the globe, including for a few projects in Australia, like Edify Energy's 150 megawatts. 300 megawatt hours battery storage system in New South Wales. Last year, Tesla Megapack deployments contributed significantly to Tesla's increasing energy storage deployments. In Q3 2021, Tesla's energy storage deployments increased by 71% yo y, and in the fourth quarter of last year, it rose by 32% yo y. In the first quarter of 2022, Tesla reported that energy deployments increased by 90% YoY to 846 megawatt hours, mainly driven by the Powerwall. Although, Elon Musk announced that the Megapack is sold out through the end of 2022 in the Q2 2021 earnings call. The company noted that demand for its energy storage systems remains above capacity, largely due to ongoing supply chain challenges. Tesla plans to ramp production and address its growing demand with its dedicated Megapack factory in Lathrop, California. In the meantime, Giga Nevada seems to be working hard to produce and deploy as many Megapacks as possible. As the world relies more on renewable energy sources, grid-scale batteries will become more necessary, and the Tesla Megapack is ready to fill that role. According to the International Energy Agency IEA, Battery energy storage deployments rose to a record high 5 gigawatts in 2020, with installations rising by 50% compared to 2019. China and the United States, in particular, registered gigawatt scale additions, accounting for two thirds of total added capacity in 2020. The IEA also reported that overall investments in battery storage increased by 40% in 2020, up to $5.5 billion. Last month, the Biden-Harris administration announced it was raising $90 billion for high-priority demonstration projects this decade. The investments include innovative clean technologies like grade-scale energy storage. Source reposted and summarized from Maria Murano at Tesla RT. My take everybody is ignoring Tesla's energy division. It's a sleeping giant. Elon Musk reveals more details about the Tesla Robovan. July 9, 2022. Elon Musk reveals more details about the Tesla Robovan Elon Musk tweeted today about the Tesla Robovan and that Tesla should make a highly configurable Robovan for people and cargo. Let's go over what Electrified has to say about this now. I think many people are going to be excited about this tweet. Especially those who want to live a nomad lifestyle and have a large van to travel in. This definitely needs to be bigger than the Tesla Model X. Back on July 29, 2016. Elon Musk tweeted that the Tesla minibus would be built on a Model X chassis. This would create a people density that is surprisingly high. There were suggestions to call it the Space Bucks, Starbucks, or even Outer Bus. And Elon liked those suggestions back on July 30, 2016. There is reference to this bus from the Tesla Master Plan Part 2. Released in 2016, the bus was referred to as a high-passenger density urban transport and it was said to be in early development. Elon said it needed a design to accommodate wheelchairs and bikes. Elon also said on a Joe Rogan podcast that a van makes a lot of sense because you have a big flat area, and that's actually where solar could start to make a little more sense due to the surface area and ability to cover the vehicle with more solar panels than a car. San Bernardino County Supervisor, Kurt Hagman, may have also let out a slip about Tesla's electric van saying originally. The proposal called for specially designed Tesla cars. But Hagman said the company is working with Tesla to develop electric vans that can seat up to 12 people and their luggage. Enlarging the capacity to 1,200 people per day. Or 10 million plus per year. Elon referenced the Tesla Robovan last year. To which Sawyer Merritt tweeted that the Robovan would help address those with disabilities. This is also something I wrote about last year as well. The Tesla Robovan which will address those with disabilities. The reality is that the Tesla Robovan has been in discussion since 2016 and designs have been worked on. 
but I don't think this is something that is going to reach initial production in the next few years. Once batteries and supply chain shortages are worked out, then Tesla can start to produce more vehicles. And will the Tesla Robovan replace the Tesla Robotaxi vehicle? We don't know quite yet. Will Tesla make a Robovan in the next five years? Will this replace the Robotaxi vehicle? Source reposted and summarized from Jeremy Johnson at Talk News. My take once Elon solves FSD. This will be an awesome vehicle. Elon Musk planning to increase childcare benefits in his company's July 9, 2022. Tesla CEO Elon Musk is an advocate for big families. And he seems ready to walk the walk. In a recent update on Twitter, Musk remarked that he is planning on increasing childcare benefits at his companies, such as Tesla and SpaceX. Musk's comments came amidst the CEO's new round of posts about his stance on underpopulation and the value of large families. Initially, Musk noted that he is doing his best to help the underpopulation crisis. He also reiterated that a collapsing birth rate is the biggest danger civilization faces so far. Musk was later asked about his response to those who argue that they should not have a lot of children because of the costs of raising a family. In response, Musk noted that he is looking to make it easier to afford children, at least in terms of the companies that he leads. Part of this involves increasing childcare benefits for his workers. Kids are worth it if at all possible. In planning to increase childcare benefits at my companies significantly, hopefully, other companies do same. Musk wrote on Twitter, as per the company's latest impact report, Tesla currently offers benefit and leave options for all full-time employees in the United States. These include up to $40,000 in fertility services, up to $25,000 in adoption services, up to $25,000 in reproduction services such as donor and surrogacy, 16 weeks of paid maternity leave, and pay for nine weeks of maternity leave. The report also noted that Tesla offers five days of backup childcare for its employees. We want our benefits to be an outlier in the manufacturing industry. The company wrote, Musk did not provide a lot of other information in his tweet, though he noted that more details would hopefully be announced next month. Interestingly enough, Musk's recent updates come amidst news that he and an executive Neuralink, Shivan Zillis, had welcomed twins last November. Source reposted and summarized from Simon Alvarez at Tesla RT. My take good plan. If you want to keep your employees happy, you have to give them something back. Elon Musk formally moves to terminate Twitter acquisition. July 9, 2022, in a recent filing with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, Tesla CEO Elon Musk formally moved to terminate his acquisition attempt of social media platform Twitter. Musk and the Twitter board had agreed to a buyout at $54.20 per share, or $44 billion. In a letter, Musk's legal team stated that despite the Tesla CEO's requests for critical data on the social media platform's users, Twitter had been uncooperative. Skadden Arps attorney Mike Ringler wrote that Twitter has not complied with its contractual obligations. Musk had demanded more data from Twitter after the social media company noted in Insec filing that less than 5% of its users are fake accounts. Musk has noted that he believes Twitter's estimates are grossly inaccurate. Twitter has failed or refused to provide this information. Sometimes Twitter has ignored Mr. Musk's requests. Sometimes it has rejected them for reasons that appear to be unjustified. And sometimes it has claimed to comply while giving Mr. Musk incomplete or unusable information. The lawyer wrote, Twitter has not provided information that Mr. Musk has requested for nearly two months notwithstanding his repeated detailed clarifications intended to simplify Twitter's identification collection, and disclosure of the most relevant information sought in Mr. Musk's original requests. Ringler added, the lawyer added that while Twitter did eventually provide Musk with some information, the information was limited and came with strings attached. While Twitter has provided some information, that information has come with strings attached. Use limitations or other artificial formatting features, which has rendered some of the information minimally useful to Mr. Musk and his advisors. For example, when Twitter finally provided access to the 8 developer APIs first explicitly requested by Mr. Musk in the May 25th letter, those APIs contained a rate limit lower than what Twitter provides to its largest enterprise customers. He wrote, Ringler also noted that Twitter had breached its merger agreement with Musk because of materially inaccurate representations. 
This is reportedly based on Musk's own preliminary review of spam accounts on Twitter. The social media company, for its part, has maintained that it's not possible to calculate spam accounts from solely public information. While this analysis remains ongoing, all indications suggest that several of Twitter's public disclosures regarding its MDAUs are either false or materially misleading. Despite public speculation on this point, Mr. Musk did not waive his right to review Twitter's data and information simply because he chose not to seek this data and information before entering into the merger agreement. In fact, he negotiated access and information rights within the merger agreement precisely so that he could review data and information that is important to Twitter's business before financing and completing the transaction. Ringler wrote, Source reposted and summarized from Simon Alvarez at Tesla RT. My take good news. I never liked this deal. Elon should build his own platform if that's what he wants to do.